Welcome to our demonstration of VMware vCenter Site Recovery Manager, Reprotect and Failback. We are going to walk through the process of reprotecting VMs at our recovery site, then, using a planned migration, to fail them back to the original protected site and then reprotect them from there. We begin with our recovery plan selected. We'll start the reprotect process by selecting Actions and Reprotect. We click the checkbox to verify that we understand the operation cannot be undone and click on Next, Verify Details, and click Finish. During the reprotect process, Site Recovery Manager will communicate with our storage arrays and vSphere replication to reverse the direction of replication for the data stores and VMs associated with our recovery plan. This ensures the VMs are protected and available to be failed over. Reprotect is now complete. Let's take a quick look at our current VM inventory. At Site A, we see our finance VMs represented by the placeholder icon. At Site B, we see our running VMs as expected. We will now perform a planned migration from Site B, our original recovery site, back to Site A, our original protected or primary site. Here again, we click on the checkbox to verify that we understand the process is going to permanently alter our environment. We select Planned Migration, click on Next, verify the selections, and click on Finish to start the recovery plan. We selected Planned Migration because we are not in the middle of a disaster, and if there are errors, we want to take the time to fix them before we move on. Site Recovery Manager will now execute the same steps that were executed in the Disaster Recovery mode, which we covered in the SRM failover video. Note that this process will take several minutes to complete, and it has been sped up for this demonstration. Our planned migration, or failback, is now complete. The last step is to ensure this environment is protected again should another disaster occur. To accomplish this, as before, we select Reprotect, confirm we understand it cannot be undone, click Next, verify details, and click Finish. The Reprotect process repeats itself. The only difference to the previous time is that our VMs are being protected on Site A and would be recovered at Site B. The Reprotect process is complete now. We are now ready to either test or recover the plan as needed. Let us take a quick look at Site A and see that all of our VMs are now up and running and are protected at Site A. This concludes the demonstration of Reprotect and Failback with vCenter Site Recovery Manager. Thank you.